on it's a soul here in Capricorn we're gonna do a little experiment okay so this is gonna be your Labor Day weekend special um, regarding uh, relationships I'm using this deck here brand new deck that I received nothing but the tea a large deck okay the messages are straightforward some could be very explicit and what I want to look at is the persons that you're dealing with when it comes to these relationships so it'll be the thoughts feelings and the intentions you know towards you and um, also using uh, a couple cards from the Arkham um, Tarot deck to um, you know supplement the energies here uh, this is still not going to I'm still going to do the uh, general weekly readings for uh, the week of Labor Day um, but I wanted to use this deck here because you know I received it here and I was like let's see how this uh, pans over here so we're going to look at the energies for Capricorn suns, moons, and Capricorn rising signs, and of course, singles, couples, and same-sex loving energies. How your person's thoughts, intentions, and feelings towards you, what are they? Okay, very interesting. Take these messages, <laughs> Capricorn, with a grain of salt, I'm telling you, because some are very explicit, some are just, you know could be true and, and to the point and may you know resonate with you and if it doesn't resonate with you don't worry about it as always all right so let me just do one cut here and we're going to begin the messages all right so the first message for you Capricorn is that always needing to apologize so this person here is stating that they always seem to need to apologize uh, to you Capricorn because maybe they're fucking up you know maybe they're doing something that is pissing you off how about that so but they always feel that they need to apologize just to make sure that um, you know you're on solid ground with each other so that's what I get out of that one there up next the next message is being too aggressive so it could be that the person that you are interested in or in a relationship with is that they're coming across as being uh, too aggressive if that's the case it might be something that's turning you off you know, you don't like that aggressive type of uh, energies. So remember, this is their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. So someone could be uh, too aggressive. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical. It could be someone who is just, you know, the type of energy that is, con you know, coming across as controlling and or manipulative. That could also be aggressive, considered aggressive too. Um, following that message, we have, will you marry me? So somebody wants to marry you, Capricorn. This is straightforward. All right. I told you some of these messages could be straightforward. Some can be very explicit. Up next is uh, pollinating the planet. Now, how do I want to interpret that? Somebody spreading their seeds all over the place or somebody that, um, okay. How do I want to see this energy pollinating? I'm feeling pollinating means spreading. So it could be that someone is, um, you know, somebody that you are with is, is, is turned out to be some sort of player or they just have many, uh, you know, they could have different women or different men and they're spreading their, their pollen, you know, their seeds, they're spreading their seeds. So that's what I'm getting out of that one. Following the pollinating the planet, we have uh, you're never available. So someone is complaining, Capricorn, that your ass is working too much and you're never available or you're, you know, you're standoffish. OK, or you're being cold or you're being uh, you're ghosting. Someone is complaining here, you're never available. Following that message is like mutual sexual attraction. So here we go. The mutual sexual attraction is that this person here feels that, you know, the sex between you is great and it's mutual. There's no problems. Maybe it's all that it is. It's just a, a, a sex thing. You know, FWB, friends with benefits. You know, after the sex, it's like, oh, we go our separate ways or whatever, but there's no development of uh, any types of feelings. Now we have tired of uh, pulling teeth. Tired of pulling teeth is like trying to get information. So somebody wants information from you, Capricorn, but you're a little bit withholding or you're reserved. You can see all the teeth in the hand. It's like going to the dentist. It's like trying to get information from you, and you're just reluctant to, you know, um, spill the tea. 
So I don't know if that's just, uh, you know, like a, a reservation that you have or you're putting up some sort of wall or blockage for, you know, someone who is trying to gain um, knowledge about you or get to know you better. But you just you're not you're not coughing up nothing here. All right. Next message we have. Uh, if you love me, you do it. Wow. Be careful here. Don't get into no crazy shit, uh, Capricorn, with somebody who wants you to do something that you are not comfortable with. All right. Next up is, all right, so there's babies involved. So maybe there's some children that you don't know about involving a person that, you know, has a involvement with you. And someone has their eye on you. Got my eye on you, uh, Capricorn. Somebody's watching you. Could be a neighbor. Could be somebody, you know, um, you know, checking out your activity on, you know, any social media. Could be somebody that you work with. Somebody is watching you. And that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. Somebody has an interest in you. You may not know it at this particular time. So just to toss some additional cards here. It's like Papa was a rolling stone. That means that the person was a player. They're letting you know. Secret child. Here we go. Baby's involved. So there's a baby here that you don't know about. And then the other one is like, who do I choose? Somebody is indecisive about whether they want to. Um, ooh, there's two women here. So it could be they don't know what they want to do in terms of their sexual orientation. They could be bisexual or bi-curious. You may be involved in that type of energy. One last card here. We have focused on you. All right. So we got my eye on you and now I'm focused on you. So somebody definitely has their attention and they're focused on you, which is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. So these are your messages here, Capricorn. Take them um, as you will. And I'm going to be tossing some cards here from this deck. Uh, there are some reversals here and I'm only tossing like four cards uh, just to see and get additional information. First up, for you Capricorn, what your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you may be, uh, Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to apologize. Always get that with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody uh, wants to apologize. Maybe there was some sort of uh, slight towards you from your person, and now they want to make amends, and this is the apology card. All right? Taurus, and that's your own energy. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, right? So the Four of Swords here is uh, somebody here... Four of Swords is usually the energy of rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. Somebody is struggling here with their independence and their freedom when it comes to uh, the relationship with you. This person here could be holding on, or this could be a you know a codependent type of energy. They ref you know simply refuse to. Um, seek out other means to make them happy, then they um, use your energy as their sole means of happiness. You know, I always talk about the Four of Swords, talking about you have to detach your energies when it's in the upright, do something that is not inclusive of your partners, and, you know, do something uh, on your own that makes you happy. You know, I always talk about, you know, recapture your freedom, your independence, this person here, if they're attached to you or you're dealing with this person, they have codependency issues. All right, Four Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius up next. And on the other hand, there's some Capricorns that, you know, their needs and their wants are being met through the Ten of Pentacles. Plain and simple. Even number of Pentacles. So, you know, the energy you put out there, the energy that you get back. You're being well provided for. Somebody cares about you enough to take care of you, uh, but you don't need nobody to take care of you. You can do that on your own. So I feel that there could be, you know, equal amount of sharing and giving. But for both parties, your needs are being met. Your wants are being met and so are theirs. You're meeting their needs and their wants. Last card here is the knight and... Uh, well, yeah, the knight in shining armor, but it's the knight of wands. Okay, that's in the reverse. This is the person that comes in quickly and then exit quickly. Now, when I said this, when I showed up for another sign, somebody is either losing interest here, you know, with the relationship, the passion is sort of dying down. Uh, things are becoming less intense when it comes to the relationship. This is an exit plan for somebody. Now, whether or not it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius remains to be seen. 
But this is a quick exit plan for somebody to, you know, leave a relationship because there's there. And I get that because they're losing interest. There's some, you know, because the passion is either dying down or it's not there. Uh, the intensity is fizzled out or the sexual energy has played itself out and now they're ready to move on. All right. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Remember, I said this is just the Labor Day special. Um, I'm still going to do the weekly readings for you for the Labor Day week. And so just take out of these energies what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. Uh, whatever you do, do, you know, do it safely. Be well. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to continue to do you know, this type of energy as I use these cards. More often, I'll, you know, start to hone in on them and then really delve into, you know, not only just taking the uh, the words that are just, you know, on the cards for face value, just, you know, adding my what I feel might be, you know, uh, the meaning or additional meanings to the energies. OK, so keep smiling for me, Capricorn. I will talk to you soon. Bye.